car. Exactly, right? Like. Uh, Hey everyone, it's Manav here with another conversation at Glossica, and today I'm with Claire, Hi. who is a polyglot. All right, Claire, what are the five best ways to learn a new language? Five ways, all right. Well, first of all, if you can, just go to a country where they speak your language mm. and just immerse yourself. Like, make sure yeah. you hear it every single day, you know, from every side, like, mm. to the point that you start thinking in the language. Mm. So That's travel. Right, For yeah. sure, okay. Number two, if you can travel, just uh, make sure you immerse yourself in the language in any other way. So I would suggest just watching loads of TV. Mm, okay. Turn on Netflix or you know yeah. movies, anything you like. Right. Just just try to listen to it as much as possible. So yeah. it's um, you know just pick up a silly TV show and just get obsessed with it. Entertainment's like watch it key, yeah. Day in day night, so that you really just get it in your brain. Like you listen to it all the time, mm. and you just at some point you just start thinking in the language. All right, yeah. And your, your third would be? Music. Music, That's okay. another way to right. just listen to it. Because, you know, if you like a song, it's going to get stuck, in your, stuck head. in your head. Yeah, yeah. And you just like, you just start singing it all yeah. the time, right? Yeah. And um, and then the best thing is to look up the lyrics mm. and try to sing along. And then, you know, you look up the meaning. Yeah, that's and a great then, idea. And then you, you, so you will remember the meaning, but then the, the, the lyrics are going to get stuck in your head, so you're never going to forget it, and right. you're going to learn a lot. Yeah. And you're also matching the pronunciation mm. with the written form, True. so it's it's really um, teaching you on multiple levels. Okay, yeah. yeah. And number four? Number four, um, read. Yeah, so um, if, you, if you are lucky enough to be present in a country where they speak the language, just read everything. Like you walk down the street and yeah, it could be you're signs. reading everything because then you know you have it in context. So you're like, oh, supermercado. Like, oh, I guess it's a supermarket, right? And when you go to the shops and you buy something, so let's say, you know, I have uh, a bottle of milkshake here and uh, just like, oh, like, what's this? Like, um, you know, like uh, leche is milk, okay. Like, what else is in there, right? right? And you're just trying to guess, and you're just like, you can imagine what's inside a milkshake, right? So you're like, okay, I guess leche would be milk, and then uh, platano would be probably banana since it's a, since it's a banana milkshake. Mm -hmm. um, and then, obviously, if you can't, you know, do that, just uh, pick up a book and try to read it. Right. And um, I think this is a big one because at the beginning, you will feel like you're not understanding anything and you will want to reach for your dictionary and look up every word you don't know, but mm. just don't do that. Don't do that because you're going to see that you're going to get the meaning, even if you don't understand like half of the words, you're still going to get the meaning. And if you can make it through, um, towards the end of the book, you're just going to be like, oh my God, mm. I understand. Yeah, there's a sense of accomplishment too, You're like, right? I don't know how, because I've never looked up these words, but right. all of a sudden I'm reading and I know what I'm reading. Like, I don't even know how my brain just learned it without me putting any effort in learning it. It's really amazing So too. we have travel, mm -hmm. entertainment, mm -hmm. music, reading, right. and lastly, I would just say, have fun. Have fun. You be know, easy just, on yourself. Uh, be easy on yourself right. and don't, don't, um, don't be strict in yourself. Mm. Just, just be willing to, you know, make a fool out of yourself. Just, just uh, show up on camera, and you know, don't even, don't even worry about your grammar or like. Um, I think we stop ourselves a lot yeah. when speaking a new language, so just Absolutely. don't hesitate so much. Absolutely. It's going to be a little embarrassing. Yeah. Push through. It's fun, you know. Yeah. Just. Uh, Imagine you go to the supermarket and you want to buy a chicken sandwich right. and you, you you have it in the tip of your tongue but you just forgot the word for chicken. What do you do? Exactly, right? Like, uh, right. egg, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're just going to be Any like, way oh, possible. you mean chicken? Be like, that's it, that's what I mean. And you're never, I, I, I we'll tell you, you're across. never going to forget the word for chicken that's, again. That's actually really right? true, yeah. Well, so just, you yeah. know. Make a fool out of yourself. Thank it's you, fun. Claire, the polyglot. Thank you. Beautiful. Really hoping you enjoyed the conversation today here with Claire. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Glossica YouTube channel. Uh, Shots of Jim. Arrivederci.